Alright, my movie is Independence Day. Such a good movie. Murder. Aliens. Fourth of July. President's house getting blown up. Spoilers. Spoilers. Oh. You saw that coming, though. But. It was kind of on the cover of the movie. Yeah. <laughs> movie about aliens coming to Earth and strategically planning how to blow up the Earth and exterminate the human race. Quite a few scenes of them trying to destroy, the humans trying to destroy the alien ships. And Will Smith is a badass. This one kind of paired a lot with Armageddon, just because it was kind of in the same realm of how much I watched it throughout my childhood. Not a great deal, but still more than the others. Uh, and I always, I always love watching it. I really liked Jeff Goldblum's character. That's Ryan. I'm sure Ryan will touch on that as well. Uh, I, I get, I just get psyched every time I hear the president's speech. And, <laughs> um, and there's a lot of like little details that. You're not gonna notice like the first time watching it, but probably the second time or so you're like, you notice it just like throughout the movie that stuff carries over and gets touched on later, like the recycling bit, that, the Jewish stuff with the with his father. Uh, the making an entrance, I love that every time. <laughs> uh, and obviously Will Smith is a badass. That is a fantastic scene. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes it is. Where he just I, yep, yeah. destroys the alien and just freaks out in the desert. <laughs> yep. Uh, overall, it's, yeah, it's a really good movie. So for my opinions on this, first of all, I think it should be said that we actually had to sit down and convene briefly to see if this counts as a disaster movie. <laughs> is you, you could have an entire segment on alien invasion oh yeah mm -hmm. um that and it would be easy yeah, hell even avatar would classify as alien invasion mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um after just discussing it briefly we said you know what um it, it has the components that we were looking for when we created this topic we wanted to see it um and the fact that uh ryan had not seen it yet that was another big thing is because we want to make sure that everyone was exposed to all of these things as much as possible um, that being said, Independence Day was one of my favorite movies growing up. Um, it, it was, again, in the top five movies of uh, those nostalgia <laughs> effects. Um, it's got your favorite scene of all time. And it has my favorite scene of all time. Josh briefly mentioned it uh, when uh, Will Smith <laughs> outmaneuvers the alien in the desert and then he comes down with a parachute. <laughs> And it all starts when he like hits the ground and just like just smashes the ground and the parachute engulfs him. And and then he just like he's like holler, he's like, ah and he's trying to get out of the parachute and he can't do it. And he's like, Wah! Oh, so big and bad and he's like trying to walk, but like the parachute is hooked on a cactus and so he can't move. He's all pissed off. Get off yeah, and, man. <laughs> he's just so pissed. He marches. Up to the, the, the craft, climbs it, opens the hat, just like, you're an alien. <laughs> just because he had nothing left to lose. I <laughs> love that scene. It is my favorite movie scene of all time. Um, just because it really just in, it, it engulfs everything that's going on in the movie at the time. Everything is going wrong for the humans. Everything is pretty much going right for the aliens, because the alien survives this. And there's really nothing left left to lose for the humans. They're on their last leg, and they're getting desperate. And it just it, it engulfs the entire mood of the film in in 45 seconds. To agree with Josh, there are a lot of little things in this movie. Um, I appreciate little details that I noticed, like Jeff Goldblum in the recycling, always trying to save the world. The cigars. The father just happened to have cigars because he's a smoker, and Will Smith needed the cigars because his partner was killed in, in action. Um, the president's speech. Great speech. 
And look who's back. Hello, boys, I'm back. He was talking to us because we just watched him in Hard Rain. Randy Quaid. Oh, uh, Randy Quaid. Uh, the drunkard crop duster. <laughs> um, Ryan said earlier how he likes his disaster movies uh, small scale, very focused, so you get to learn a lot about the characters and you don't get too out of control. Um, I'm not like that. I'm not saying I need my movies to be large scale, but I mean, if you can develop enough likable characters that see development, I don't care how it goes down. I don't care if it's a world catastrophe or if it's just chasing tornadoes. This movie does it well. Um, I love Bill Pullman's character. Um, the, the president, he's fantastic. I, I love his uh, secretary's character. I love Jeff Goldblum's character. I love, love, love Will Smith's character. Um, I like Jeff Goldblum's father's character. Uh, and then even a lot of the side characters, like Dr. Oakman who comes in, you know, you can't help but love the guy for who he is. And, oh, and Randy Quaid's character. You, you know, you, you don't really know how to feel about him, but you like him in that strange Randy Quaid kind of way. And the movie is successful in making you care about all of these people. I mean, and I know I'm just droning on and on about how much I love this movie, but the fact is, is that this, this is a great movie. Um, easily one of my favorites. This... And it makes this week that much harder for me to, to really go through. Um, you know, my number one's not fairly obvious. <laughs> this is a fantastic movie. I have absolutely no complaints about it. And what really sealed the deal for me was when Jeff Goldblum said, Must go faster. Must go faster. Must go faster. He says that in Jurassic Park. <laughs> It's a sick reference, bro. It's a sick reference. But I'm just gonna... Especially since we were talking about it right before that. Yep. I, I'm not gonna speak any more to it, I just I love the movie, so... Uh, Ryan. Alright, well like Derek said, um, I my disaster movies, I like them smaller scale, more focused. Um, I like Twister and Hard Rain, they're very small scale, they're very focused on the, the single, basically single story they're telling. Uh, whereas Armageddon and Independence, they're much, much more ensemble, they're big. They're big. Literally, they put me in the And I don't like that as much because you don't get to like the characters as much typically. Like they don't get into as much time to develop them, and that's I don't know. Uh, normally, what happens? I don't care as much, and that's true here. But I will say this: uh, Will Smith's character, awesome. Bill Pullman's character, awesome. Jeff Goldblum's character, awesome. They were fairly well developed for this kind of movie, and I really liked all of them. Uh, Bill Pullman's speech was incredible. Uh, I liked Jeff Goldblum and Will Smith's chemistry. Um, in the end, it was just awesome. Will Smith ran the desert that scene. There were some really incredibly amazing scenes here. Um, and I, I, I like the movie. I really do. I think it's a good movie. And you were shocked that you could see the aliens. Yeah, I didn't I didn't think that they would show the aliens in this movie. I don't know if for some reason. You um, just see, like, ship shooting. Um, I wish that Randy Quaid's character had been developed more because I knew once I probably through I figured out the ending. I had seen the ending before, and with his arc, I wish we got it to develop it more. It could have been much more awesome. The one thing that kind of bothered me was the fact that Armageddon just looked better than Independence Day in terms of like special effects and stuff. Like uh, there's some parts in Independence Day that there's some really good shots and there's some really yeah. really bad ones. Yeah. And the fact that I've seen older movies that pull off special effects better than this one did bothers me. I think Armageddon did a better job. I I never noticed that before until I watched it this yeah. time. So that bothered me. Yeah, same. I agree with that. Um, I, I like how it didn't get too silly. I like how they they played it mostly serious. Um, this is the type of movie that can easily dissolve into something just ridiculous. But um, it's not my genre at all, not even a little bit. But that said, I I liked it a lot. I really did. I enjoyed it. And I would watch it again. Let's go faster. Let's go faster. <laughs> uh, thoughts? Yeah, great movie overall. Derek, you know, you guys pretty much summed up all the crazy things about it. So, yeah.